I like antenna mashups. That is taking pieces and parts from different antenna systems and seeing as a whole, is it better than the sum of all of their parts? Uh, so today, we're gonna do an antenna mashup. Uh, what I have with me is the Radiodity HF009. Now, I've had this on a couple of videos. It's a um, very capable uh, HF a vertical antenna system. I've been, I've been pleased uh, with Radiodity's um, HF009. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's got a little center loaded loading coil, a couple of these extension rods, and then a small uh, whip at the top. And at the base of the antenna is this uh, spike mount with the UHF connector and a 3 8 by 24 male thread. Now the problem with this is with all other antenna systems, they typically have a 3 8 by 24 female receptor so that you can use a whip that has a 3 8 by 24 male. And um, because the radiodity system is opposite, it takes a little bit of um, figuring how you're going to make this work with anything else if you wanted to tripod mount it or clamp mount it or things like that. But fortunately there is one antenna system out there that can um, accomplish our task today and that's Res Antenna's uh, Scout adapter. This Scout feed point uh, has as its base a 3 8 by 24 male thread. It's got 3 8 by 24 male on both sides actually and then you get the you get these 3 8 by 24 female extension nuts so that if you wanted to put a whip onto the Scout uh, you could use this nut and the whip. Uh, if you wanted to use this as a dipole you just use another little um, you, you attach the wire to this and uh, and another bolt to hold it in place so it's uh, the Scout is a is a really adaptable kind of antenna system and it works really well um, in adapting the radiodity because I could take their rods here that have the 3 8 by 24 female thread and screw it into the 3 8 by 24 male on the Scout adapter and uh, lo and behold now we can tripod mount the <laughs> Elevate our HF009 and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create KJ6ER's performer antenna, the POTA performer, um, uh, using instead of the 17-foot uh, vertical whip, we're going to use the Radiodity HF009 uh, fed into the, um, to the Scout uh, base on top of my tripod with the, um, with, with the elevated radials. And we're going to see if this system works better <laughs> as, um, as, uh, as an elevated antenna than what the HF009 would do ground mounted. So stay tuned with me. Um, we're over here at the Plover River uh, Fishery and Wildlife Area. We're gonna, it's parks on the air weekend. There's a lot of activity on the band. So let's put this park on the air. Now this is going to be fun. <laughs> the tuner is all the way up there. I think I can reach that. If I didn't have a bit of a challenge, you know. Is that as low as we can get it? 2.5? Well. One point nine. I'm gonna do just a touch more counterpoise. Okay, 
Perfect. The Kilo Charlie 1 Mike India Tango. Kilo Charlie 4, 4 Mike India Tango. Kilo oh, there we go. Kilo Charlie 4 Mike India Tango. I had a static crash there. Uh, 5 5 into Wisconsin. I got two parks for you US 10054 and US 4238. Back to you. All right. Hey, thanks for the one, two, five, nine. You have a great activation today. Oh, let's see if there's a couple others here. Thank you, sir. Got you a little all two hours in. Park to park, park to park. Park to park, Kilo, Bravo, Niner, Victor, Bravo, Romeo. Roger that. You're about a 5-3 here. I got two parks for you. US 10054 and US 4238. Okay, I got 1038. So I got two parks. Park number one, 10054. Park number two, US 4238. 1238. Stand by. 1238. Got it, Michael. Hey, I've got two parks for you. I have two parks for you. Go ahead. Roger, 9454 and 4572. Uh, thanks for the twofer. Thank you, Susan Hunting, and 73. Uh, have fun there today. 73, take care. Always stand by for me just a second. Step so, up. All right. <laughs> the 40 meter band is really tough. Uh, it's about noon, and um, we're it's uh, not the best band conditions for the low bands, but. Got four in the log, uh, three contacts, one of them was a twofer, and um, that's nice. So we know it works using the Radiodity HF009 elevated is, uh, I think, is definitely paying off here uh, this morning, this afternoon. So let's uh, change it up to the 20 meter band and see if we can get a few more contacts this afternoon. Oof, duh. About 1 point, about 1.3 to 1. Not too bad. <laughs> uh, good enough to get it on the air. And I'm tired of adjusting my radials and um, reaching up really high. So um, let's get 20 meters on the air. Park to park. Uh, the park to park again. Afternoon, Michael. Whiskey 3, Juliet Alpha Whiskey. Whiskey 3, Juliet Alpha, Alpha Whiskey. Gotcha. About a 5.5 five into Wisconsin. Two parks. US 10054. And US 4238, back to you. All righty, uh, 10054 4238. Hey, that put icing on the cake on my uh, number 11 and 12 of mine. I've uh, got you 57, uh, 57 in the clear here in the PA. My park is one, I'm sorry, 9022, 9022.
the Roger, the 9022 in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's uh, um, tough conditions today. A lot of, a lot of people operating, <laughs> but um, it's crazy out there. I mean, the people are about every one or one and a half you know, like Yeah, it's Support Your Parks weekend, so everybody's out supporting their park. <laughs> uh, but good to get you in the log today. You bet. Good to get you again, and we'll catch you later and keep the videos coming. 7 3. We'll do. Take care. 7 3. Get old Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Year. Kira Z. Was there a Kilo Oscar 4? Kilo Oscar 4, Zulu Oscar Golf, uh, 53 Wisconsin, US 10054. Back to you. Yes, sir, you're about a 53 in Alabama. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for Alabama today. You have a great day in 73. I appreciate it. Was there any other park to parks out there? Yes, yes, park to park, park to park. I heard a couple of them. Um, uh, go ahead. Okay, I got the Whiskey 4 Yankee Papa X-Ray, your 5-5 five, five into my two parks, US 10054 and US 4238. Back to you. Alrighty, we copy your park numbers. Please copy my park at US 9880. 9880. Roger the 9880, and thanks for the park today. 7-3, take care. And another, the other park to park. Victor Alpha 3, Whiskey Papa Golf. You're a 5-3 Wisconsin, U.S. 10054 and U.S. 4238. Back to you. Uh, copy the 5-3 into U.S. 10054 and 4238. You are 5-9 into Charlie Alpha 508. Eight two Charlie Alpha five zero eight two and I got a second operator. All right, thanks for the five zero eight two. Go ahead with the second op. Roger, Roger. Uh, Victor Echo three India Uniform Kilowatt. You are five by nine. Over. All right, Victor Echo three India Uniform Kilowatt. Thanks for the park and um, yeah, you are actually peaking at a five seven here into my two parks. Ah, oh, very good. Thank you and thanks for being out there. Hey, you, you both of you have a great activation, 7-3. Uh, any other park to park? As I said earlier in the video, we're out here at the Plover River State Fishery and Wildlife Area. This, air, this um, area, these lands, are the headwaters of the Plover River that runs from northeastern Marathon County, Wisconsin. Marathon County, my hometown, home, hometown area down through um, Plover River and southward until it eventually meets up with the Wisconsin River. And also, this parking area is the trailhead for the National Ice Age Scenic Trail. The Ice Age Trail, you've heard me talk about that many times, basically a 1,200 mile trail that runs the course of glaciation within the state of Wisconsin. Uh, the, the furthest, the, the, the most recent extent of the glaciers can be tracked by the path of the Ice Age Trails. 1,200 miles of hiking, about 700 of those miles is actual trail, and then 500 is a roadway connector. So it is an incomplete trail, but um, it's mostly there. Uh, beautiful, so this is, I like this spot because it's close by to where I live, a 15 mile drive from home. And it's a nice twofer and it's got a, a good spot where I can set up and test antennas. And an antenna test is what we did today. Uh, our, our antenna mashup of the Radiodity HF009 uh, vertical, uh, elevated as in with the uh, Poda Performer type antenna. And it worked really well, <laughs> despite the band conditions. Um, for, we started out on a 40 meter band. There was a lot of static crashes. 40 is, it was midday. 40 is not in the best of shape midday. Was still able to manage, get about three contacts or so on the 40 meter band. Enough that to, to prove that I can elevate this uh, vertical and it works. So we moved on to the 20 meter band and uh, 20 meters was rough 
and it was very crowded. It's Support Your Parks weekend. There's a lot of people out. It was hard to find a spot, but um, we got a ton of park to parks, which was really, really cool. And I, I enjoyed that, <laughs> getting all of, the, all of the park to park contacts on during this activation. I think we were out here for an hour and a half or so uh, on the air and uh, picked up uh, 78 contacts total, three of them. We're on the uh, 40 meter band, and the other 75 were on the 20 meter band. Uh, we'll get packed up here and um, work our way back home. So, um, what do you think about the um, Radiotity HF009 antenna mashup? <laughs> Is this something you're going you're to want to try? Um, it's um, not the most efficient, but um, it works, and it, it shows you you don't have to have. You know, you can you can put a lot of different things together with these these building block antenna um, kits. You can do a lot of weird, crazy things and experiment, and um, it doesn't have to be the. We don't have to search for 100% efficiency, uh, but when we experiment with things like this, we get a better understanding or feeling on how antenna systems work or perform overall. And I think that's more important than trying to eke out the most performance we can out of an antenna. So um, it was, I, I'm gonna call this a success and um, well, maybe we'll do it again. You know, it's, um, you never know when you might wanna elevate your, um, your, your, your radiotity <laughs> compact vertical antenna. So, uh, questions, comments, leave them down below. If you like content like this and you want to see more content like this, hit like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps uh, the algorithm and stuff like that and shows, it gives me a good indicator of what I should be producing for content. So, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 7.3.